Mary's Missionary Church. As a place of happiness, a place of grace, a place of worship, a place of salvation. Ask your neighbor, what are you facing? The problem we have is when we face challenges, we think God is not there. Not long I found that any delay is a blessing in disguise. Any delay. It's a blessing what? Tasa, my friend, your delay was very, very good. The, the process of receiving, the process of what? Of receiving is a delay and challenges. It's a process of receiving. Delay and challenges. Delay and challenges, challenges in life, spiritually, physically, mentally, materially, whatever you think or whatever you can name it. If God wants to bless you, you must face something. And whatever you're facing, don't rule it out like God is not hearing you because he might be preparing you for the best. He might be doing that, preparing you for the best. As I was say, my friend, are you waiting for the best? When God allows you to face some challenges, when he allow challenges, he do allow challenges so that you find yourself who you are in him. He allows those challenges. The reason is he wants you not to be destroyed by the blessing. Do you know that blessings can destroy you? Eh? He gives you millions. You find that those millions are controlling you. There are some people who are controlled by their blessings today. You look at them, they don't even know where is church. They go to a church that suits their money. If now they have money, they just say, oh, this church suits my money. This one does not suit me. So those challenges are there to make you to see beyond money to make you to see beyond what you are having. Many of you here, if you are not having challenges, you could not come here. Now, God is able to make you to sit down and to listen to his will. Not only that, in fact, sometimes he allows this thing to happen to you so that he builds a relationship with you. You know, relationship is there. So that God will be able to talk on your behalf. So that you must not talk for yourself. God will be able to say, I have a servant. I have my child. It's useless to come to God when you want a blessing. It's really useless. Allow this challenge to shape in you. To cut friends and neighbors. And some relatives must run away from you. Very, very good. When they go. So that when the blessing comes, it will be difficult for them to come back to you. Thank God they are leaving you. Thank God they are leaving. Tell anybody, thank God they are leaving you. Otherwise, they can kill you. If you can be blessed so quick. So, a delay and any challenge was very good for us. Very, very good. Sometimes I ask myself, if God would have blessed me so fast, what is it that I was supposed to be doing? One thing, I'll be a baby Christian. I'll be a Christian of blessing. I won't be a Christian of his love. Because God look unto our love walk. Not our blessing. Our blessings are nothing. Just my friend. Your challenge and that delay was working for the best. All of them were working for the best. Tell your neighbor again, your challenges and your delays 
we are working for the best. You know, if you don't know that, sometimes if God can show you why he didn't bless you, oh Lord, you just kneel down and say thank you. Now you can't thank you because you, 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 are, you, are, you have got a challenge. And challenge and not long I realized that any challenge you face makes you better. Because it just expands the horizon of your perspectives. Sometimes you grow. You become mature. You begin to know, ah, my brother can still fight me. You know, I was learning there by Jesus one day. When he saw Judas coming, he knew what Judas was coming from. But he said, Here comes my friend. How can you say something like Here that? Here comes my friend. So many of you, you know, this person insulted you. You can't say he's a friend. Because whoever brings pain was working for the best. For you. Jesus said, here comes my friend. Without Judas, I can't rise from the dead. Whatever you are facing, any challenge, any challenge is to make you to rise to a level that no one around you is aware you can reach there. So, you have been complaining, wasting time because you don't want to go up. So, thank God today you stop complaining. You can't sleep without complaining. Hey, why me? Hey, why, why my ma? problem? Why? Ah. You want this problem to go to who? Okay, the problem that is coming to okay. you is very good. You, will, you were supposed to be enjoying it. If you know the Anka blessing that will come after the problem. But if God say, okay, we don't want you to enjoy to face this now. Even this, you won't get it. If God can show you beyond the problem and the challenge you are facing, you'll go home and rest. You'll just go and enjoy. If you can see what I face and what is happening now is not comparable. It fulfills the scripture in Romans 8 that says the suffering of the present it won't be compared with the glory that shall reveal in you. So the suffering you have been facing is for the best. So what you are facing is for the best. I've experienced my experience. You are experiencing your experience. So I'm not just speaking on the other side. I'm speaking facing it. Because I know what God can do. God is raising you. I said God is raising you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. So, can you see how God works? Complaining, you can sleep. This, that, stress, depression. Thinking, try to plan this fail. Some of the things you can't even figure out the answer. no solution. You look at your money. You there is no answer. answer. Jesus is the answer. If you hold him at the end, you are the one who will love last. Can I prophesy? As long as you are here today, God is taking you where no one can take you. You will celebrate your life. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Can you shout hallelujah? You know, one day I met a lady. She was very beautiful lady. But the time of hours when you start to say sorry, you're, 
She will say, you are not my type. And you look at yourself in the mirror, you realize, ah. And you go and say, but God, why? So, one day I met this lady. I said, why now this lady married by that one? Why now this lady married by that one? Because even the one that he married, I <laughs> myself, I'm better. I'm, not, I, I'm trying to tell you what happens. And I got a revelation. The revelation was God made her to have two children first. With the people who were supposed to disappoint her. The people she trusted is their is their type. Gave her two children. And, and God revealed to me that you see. This is good for her. Now from there, she was able to allow even that one. Who's not even my type. Because you know there are some people that God will lower them for the best. And God says to me, this lady could not even marry so unless the people of a time were supposed not to be disappointed. Thank God they disappointed. So that you'll be able to move forward. Tell me my friend, somebody you never thought your type. God will use that person to live to So today is your day. Thank God for that challenge. Thank God for that pace you have encountered in life. Thank God for that pain it was for the best today. Today, God is raising Congratulations. Amen. If our challenges, challenge we found solutions for them very quick. We won't go far with our blessing. If we will run smooth, roads, we won't go far. We won't even go far. Can I prophesy you? Today, any challenge you might face was working for the best today. You are receiving the best. I said you are receiving the best. I said you are receiving the best. Thank God for that pain. Thank God for that shame. Thank God for that difficulty. Today, the door is open for you. Congratulations. So God said, I must speak this because the moment I entered here, I saw, I saw many of you, your spirit is very, very, very dark. And I was asking God, God, why? Many people here, 97 percent of the people here face challenges that they cannot even solve. But God says, whatever you might have faced, He's waking out an answer. He's waking out an answer.